and welcome to our short presentation on the bigger picture to your picture, focusing on environment today. My name is Steph Jackson and I'm an enterprise risk management consultant here at Ecclesiastical. So the riskier landscape. What a turbulent time it's been over the past two years. Incredible journey for all organisations. We've had to navigate all sorts of big, what we call black swan events, those that are potentially catastrophic, maybe unlikely to happen, uh, but we've certainly seen a number of those going on over a short, sharp period of a couple of years. So COVID-19, we're still feeling impact in many places. Terrible things going on in Ukraine. Again, we're seeing that ripple of impact affect us. Brexit is still having that impact. What we're experiencing is that ongoing impact. We're having to adapt, flex, new ways of living, new ways of working from these big challenges and turbulent events that are going on. Could this uncertainty be here to stay? Will it ever end now the boat has been rocked? That's a good question. How can we continue to respond and be as best prepared as we can going forwards? Going to have a look now. Some more big themes coming through. These are from the World Economic Risk Forum. So the report that's produced tracks a whole breadth of global risk perceptions from amongst experts from around the world. So we're getting a big 360 degree view all sorts of key risk themes. The reports produced on an annual basis, typically in January, it's got some fantastic insight. What we're seeing coming through here, we're seeing things like adverse technological advances, asset bubble burst, cyber security failures. We're moving to very heavy reliance on technology following kind of COVID. We've gone down that digitization, which exposes us to risk like cyber security, data challenges. Geoeconomic confrontation, natural resource crisis, look at those water sources and livelihood crisis. Again, start to see how some of these risks can interlink and tessellate with one another. Human environmental damage, mental health deterioration. Again, we're starting to see that overlap from drivers, but risks are driving one another. Social cohesion erosion, infectious diseases, we've already seen COVID seeing things like monkeypox coming through, along with other mental challenges. Digital inequality, having access to that digitisation and that ability to use it. Climate action failure and sustainability. Are we doing everything we can? Debt crisis. Again, we've seen that increase in costs all around us. See that overlap, knock on impact on mental health. Biodiversity loss. Extreme weather events, we're seeing bigger events, we're seeing increase in the volume of events as well. Could that be down to climate change, failure to respond to, to climate action? Involuntary migration, lots of challenges going on. What we're going to do is we're going to focus on one area today on that environmental piece. And two themes coming through where we're going to bring it down to your picture. Extreme weather events. So we've seen a material increase in adverse weather events, the impact and destruction physical risk brings. So it almost feels like area where we see more and more of when it rains, it pours. So what we've got, we've got four in five independent school leaders are concerned now about specific areas uh, in their school. So we're seeing an increased concern around closures due to extreme weather conditions. We're seeing impacts on school grounds, coastal erosion impacting grounds, and also a big impact on staff safety as well as pupil safety as well. So those are key concerns that are coming through. We've already seen high winds in quarter one this year in 2022 and back in September last year. So a number of schools forced to close due to the impact of torrential rain, thunderstorms and flooding. So one of the key areas to think about here, have we fully considered our exposures to the weather? Is there any prevention action we can undertake to weatherproof us any further? 
Also, think about your business continuity plan. Have you got a robust, resilient plan in place? Have you considered all your critical key activities? Are you able to continue with those in the event of an extreme weather catastrophe? We've also got focus here on sustainable schools as well. So again, focusing on that climate change piece. So here we can see the top 2022 investments that are being made by independent schools. The top one being solar PVC or heating panels. Modern methods of construction as well. So we're reverting to different methods of construction. Seeing the installation of electric vehicle charging points as we're seeing that move in parents and staff switching their vehicles to electric. We're seeing green living walls or roofs and increased volume in triple glazing. So it has become apparent that four in five independent school leaders are concerned about how climate change can impact their school following research commissioned by ourselves at Ecclesiastical. We've seen nine in 10 leaders concerned about energy consumption. So consider what's your plan? Have you already started going down uh, a number of these avenues, making these investments? Can we afford not to invest? We start thinking about pupil and parent interests and values, could that impact if we don't uplift and we don't deliver on our sustainability agenda, could that impact school pupil volumes? Could it impact that parental choice? So whilst climate change resilience, it can prove costly with investment, could it cost us more if we don't do it? So in summary, Use your risk management approach to scan the horizon. Start thinking about those bigger risks. Use insights such as the Global Risk Report to start thinking about those bigger risks, how they could potentially impact you. Do some analysis, use your process to understand potential causes and consequences and prioritise what those key areas could be investigate uncertainties that could become the here and now. So think about those longer term risks that perhaps we don't know a lot about now because they're too far away. Um, but think as they get closer, continue to monitor and understand where they could impact us. Detect threats or even opportunities earlier. So use your risk management process to be proactive. Have a look at emerging risks. Have that as a standing agenda item. Share ideas and success stories as well. Use networking opportunities. Share with other educational establishments. Use those key learnings to provide further strength and resilience against some of these key threats.